Hi, good morning children. Are you all doing your homework? Now we have finished number work and English. Today we are going to learn about domestic animals. Domestic animals means what? The animals that we keep at home. You have cat, dog, like pet animals and you can see sometimes the cows, buffaloes, goats in your neighbor's house or your surrounding or on the uh, road it will be roaming about. Some people rare these animals. So animals that we keep at home, we rare at home are called domestic animals. So which are the domestic animals? Cow, buffalo, goat, sheep, donkey, horse, even hen and duck also include. And they are very useful to us. Domestic animals are useful to us. They don't harm us. Domestic animals give us milk like cow, buffalo, goat give us milk. Hen and duck give us eggs. Some of you will eat eggs. Eggs give us strength. Some will eat chicken. Okay, from hen. So, the domestic animals are very useful. You have your EVS textbook. In that, lesson number 9. Lesson number 9. Domestic animals. Here you have cow, buffalo, goat, sheep, donkey, hen, duck, and here also the horse and bullocks. All these are domestic animals. So you have to learn five names of animals. That is like cow. C O W cow. Then buffalo B U double F A L O goat G O A T goat sheep sheep give us wool we make shawl sweater from wool sheep then donkey D O N K E Y donkey hen gives us X hen gives egg duck duck also gives X duck even horse H O R S E horse so these are the domestic animals we learn cow buffalo goat sheep donkey hen duck horse cow buffalo and goat give us milk three animals that gives us milk cow buffalo goat sheep gives wool donkey carry our load loads hen and duck gives eggs horse draw tongue. So all these animals are useful to us. You have to take your EVS textbook number 9 lesson number 9 domestic animals. Learn all the names of domestic animals. Ok children? So all the names of the domestic animals you should learn by heart. And they give us milk. Some of them give us eggs. So learn that and your parents to teach you. Bye bye children. See you tomorrow.